Alright guys, welcome back to another video and in this tutorial what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to access the camera and we're just going to be building a simple app for this demonstration and it's going to have a button right down here and whenever you click it it's going to launch your camera and then whenever you take a picture of something it's going to display right there. So pretty sweet and before we begin I want to mention that I did start a brand new project and also make sure that you're using API 18 or higher because there's one little package that we're going to use to make sure that your device has a camera and it will still work if you're using like um, one of the older API's but it will give you this weird warning message so in order just to avoid it let's go ahead and switch to API 18 or anything higher you can even use lollipop and it'll be fine so in your main or excuse me your activity main not main activity it's kind of confusing main activity activity main tomato tomato whatever whatever alright so let's go ahead and get rid of this text view first now the first thing that we need is that button so go ahead and grab this button and drag it somewhere not in the middle somewhere on the bottom like that now let me give myself a little more room to work so the first thing we need to do is we need to give this an ID and how about Bucky's button and why is my computer making weird noises huh sounds like my cooling thing hopefully I can uh if you guys can hear that I apologize it's really annoying alright so anyways getting kinda of sidetracked here and we'll just change the text on this to take photo so the user actually knows what's gonna happen whenever they click it now of course just so this can actually do something we'll add a method on click and we'll say launch camera so that's essentially what this is going to do whenever you click it it's going to launch the camera app and allow the user to take a picture now after they take the picture we want to display it right up top here so what we need in order to display it is an image view so if you go down under widgets and add image view you can drag it anywhere right around here is good for now one second my computer is being really loud alright so apparently it's my cooling systems making stupid noises it does that like every like once a week it just starts making really dumb noises so uh, yeah hopefully I can edit out that sound but I have to deal with it right now alright so you see how this image view is zero zero it pretty much has no size right now that's because there isn't an image in it and our layout is set to wrap content so it's pretty much gonna wrap around whenever we stick an image in there it's pretty much gonna fit whatever the content is aka the image but for right now just so we have something to I don't know look at let's go down and add minimum height and we'll say like 300 dp and we'll give it a minimum width of 300 dp too alright so now what I want to do is move that up a little bit so if I go way up I can go layout margin and change the margin top to like 50 dp see if that works alright looks good enough so the other thing that we need to do the one last thing is this we need to give this an ID so if you go to ID image view will work but I'd rather name it Bucky's image view alright so now we got an area that can display image now we have a button that whenever we click it it calls launch camera so before we hop over and start coding this let's go ahead and in the manifest we need to set up one permission and that's of course the permission to add the camera so if you go uses feature android name and the name of this is android hardware dot camera not camera 2 just camera and another thing is Android required set this equal to true so now we pretty much are saying okay we want to use the camera on the users device whenever they install this app so that's all we have to do in the manifest so close out of this and hop into your main activity.java and we can start coding this thing and I am back I just had to put my computer to sleep and then wake it up real quick because for some stupid reason whenever it starts making noise if you put it to sleep and then wake it up it stops so uh, I probably need a new computer but whatever alright so all of my imports that I'm gonna use are right here so pause the video 
take a second to copy those and after you do that we can actually get rid of these the last two menu methods won't be needing those now the first thing I want to do is just set up some variables and the first one is static final int request I spell everything correctly hopefully and set this to one so what this constant is is it's basically a way to identify your intent and if you have a bunch of different intents then you can set an identifier along with each one but the only intent that we have is we intend to open up the camera and eventually take a picture so again this isn't really important you can just pass in one if you want but it's proper just to set it to a constant so the next thing is I need a reference to image view right here since we're going to be using it in a few methods and I'll just name it Bucky's image view because that was the name in activity main so now on create as soon as we create this what do we want to do well the first thing we need is a reference to that button now we're only going to be using it in this method so I'm just gonna create the entire thing right here now of course you already know how to do all this find view by ID R dot ID dot Bucky's button and we also need to do the same thing for that image view so set this equal to image view which is of course that area we where we could display the image find view by ID R dot ID dot Bucky's image view alright so that was the easy stuff now the first thing we need to do is before we can take a picture we want to check if the user actually has a camera because if we're trying to call a bunch of intents dealing with the camera in their device maybe it's a really old one or just maybe um, you know not a high-end one and they don't have a camera it's gonna cause some problems so I'm gonna say disable the button if the user has no camera or something not the sewer user so again we're gonna check for a camera and if they don't have one then we're just gonna disable this button so they can't click it and launch the camera obviously